If you are planning to take pediatrics after doing PG counseling, then listen to this carefully. Hi, I'm Dr. Rahul Chawla, founder of Health Pill Academy. Pediatrics, till few years back, was considered to be a terminal branch, and it was one of the main reason why people were choosing pediatrics. Now, in last few years, the craze for sub specialities has grown up. The DM seats and fellowship seats have also increased. Lot many people are now preferring to do DM and fellowship after MD. However, there is a catch. In medical sub specialities, the different departments are well established in many of the private hospitals and even in many government hospitals, specifically in tier one cities. This is not the case with pediatrics, where the pediatric sub specialities are merely divisions of pediatrics department or virtually non-existent in most of the corporate hospitals. Now the problem here is that supply is getting more than demand. Those who have done their DM and fellowships are not getting a good job in private hospitals and even if they are getting a good job they are either being hired as general practitioners or they are not being paid a good amount of salary as is expected post DM. The other hurdle is that even in government hospitals, the vacancy for assistant professor in pediatric subspecialities are not coming at a rate at which the DM pass out candidates are emerging. So there is a huge lacuna over there. Other problem is that those DM candidates are now applying for job as an assistant professor, not in the department of their concerned subspeciality, but in the department of general pediatrics and they are eating up seats of those candidates who have not done fellowship or DM. On one hand, the supply of DM and fellowship candidates is getting more than the demand. And on the second hand, they are eating up the seats of those who have just done MD pediatrics. So overall, there is saturation in pediatrics, in good government hospitals and most of the private hospitals in tier one city. If you are planning to settle in tier two city, Pediatrics is a good branch. If you do a fellowship or a super specialization, the career growth is going to be good. If you are planning to settle in tier 3 city, you can just do MD pediatrics and you can earn decently good enough. The problem comes when you are planning to settle down in tier 1 city, then you need to remember that pediatrics is no more a terminal branch. It's very competitive. The saturation is real and you may have to do a fellowship and a super specialization and still you might have to adjust in the initial phase of your career.